want to give my first impressions of the Eden Body Works All Natural Cleansing Co-Wash, their Coconut Shea. So we can get that in there. Uh, excuse the cat, he's crazy. It's not going to be out of this. So one of the first things I noticed is that it took a lot less product than to co-wash than it normally does. I normally use a fair amount of uh, Suave Naturals and I normally use this bottle, water it down some to dilute it a little bit, making it easier to pass through, you know, put it in the scalp, things like that. Um, with this, the first section that I applied it to, I noticed right away that it was more than I needed. Um, as you can see, hopefully you can see, I used very little because I used less for the remaining three sections. Um, what I found is that it's very rich. Um, it did not take a lot of product, which if you have a hair that's as thick as mine, uh, I factored that in. You know, how many co-washes would I get in a container this size um, based on the price? And so co-wash, price divided by co-wash, excuse me, normally helps me make some decisions. I also like the, the fact that it is sulfate free and things like that. The only concern I had about this is that it has vegetable oil in it and I'll have to contact the company to find out if this vegetable oil has been made out of corn or soy only because those two are um, so genetically modified and I do try to avoid them. I'm also going to be doing um, a scorecard for this um, based on information obtained at the environmental working group. So, so far I've co-washed my hair. I'm going to move on to the deep conditioner which I didn't have one for the coconut line but I have their jojoba manoi. Oh, back to the coconut real quick. Love the way it smells. It's not strong. It's not overpowering, but it's definitely there. Um, the jojoba manoi, I'm hoping that it works better than it smells for me because I don't particularly care for the smell, but it's a deep conditioner. If it does its job, then I'm going to be more than happy. Um, so anyway, I'll be back after the deep conditioner is in. I've used it. I'll let you know my thoughts on that. And hopefully I can cobble together a video out of all of these little excerpts that make sense for you guys. Okay, so I got the deep conditioner in, and it, again, it is their um, Eden Body Works All Natural Deep Conditioner. It's Jojoba Manoy. This is what it looks like. Um, and I'm going to say a couple things about this. I already said I didn't really care for the smell, but it doesn't smell bad. It's just not something that I um, really like. I can't even really describe what it smells like. Um, as you can see, I used more of this than I did of the... Um, co-wash which is usual for me I, I tend to really be heavy-handed with the the deep conditioner I will say this a jar this size or 16 ounce jar with as rich as this product is um, I could get four or five maybe six if I eased off a little bit and that makes it worth it to me I would definitely purchase something where I'm going to get multiple uses out of or you know more bounce for the ounce I'm going to get to uh, good use for my money um, I will say this, the texture sh surprised me. I was expecting it to be like a thick cream, but instead it reminds me of flan um, in terms of texture. It's got a little bit of bounce back to it. Um, it's definitely not a conditioner that I would put on and then immediately start trying to detangle with a comb because my hair is so tightly coiled that the thickness of this upon application would put undue stress on my hair, but I know that with my plastic cap on sitting under the dryer for 30 minutes, when I um, get ready to rinse this out or before I rinse out and I am detangling with the comb, I'm confident that it's going to have great slip. Um, I will come back and let you guys know if my prediction is right in terms of the slip when it comes time to detangle again. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this, I'm, I normally tag myself. I am definitely a 4C over the majority of my head. I do have some 4B. And two little spots of 4A, I don't know why, right here in this area. But the majority of my hair is 4C, so when I say that it's tightly coiled, it is very, very tightly coiled. So I always need a product that will provide some slip when it comes to um, detangling. Of course, I still do my oil rinse, well, without rinsing, so I guess it's not really oil rinse. But I will put uh, coconut oil on my hair. Um, after I use their leave-in, which is going to be another first for me. I don't normally use a leave-in product. I normally just use glycerin and water as my leave-in. It's worked well for me, but they actually have an all-natural leave-in conditioner. It's coconut shea, 
I will definitely be trying this today instead of my glycerin and water. So everywhere I deviate from my normal routine, I'm tracking because I want to know if I feel a difference, if I can tell a difference, um, and if, if this is going to be something that I want to invest in. So I will be back after I get out from under the dryer. Okay, really quickly, I had my, just got out from under the dryer. As you can see, there is a fair amount of steam under there, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, the moisture content and everything. And what I'm going to do really quickly is something I normally wouldn't do, but I kind of want to show you. I can already tell you already, my ends um, feel very soft, and uh, you can't really see it because they do have a little bit of curl to them. What I'm going to do is just um, take out a little bit of the hair and try combing it with the regular wide tooth comb just to see if I can get through there um, easily. Yeah, and I'm just going to finger part it because I don't want to do too much more outside of the way I would normally do this, which is I don't really like to comb it out much until I have coconut oil on it while it's wet and I've had a chance to close the cuticles with um, apple cider vinegar. So this is a little bit out of the norm, but I wanted to, hopefully I can get all this in here. Um, going through. Huh. Not bad considering I only did a rough finger detangle before I started the process and I wore a puff for a week which means that my ends and my hair really had a chance to get friendly with itself. Um, I am really satisfied with this. I'm really happier than I thought it would be. I normally don't have this ease of combing um, without um, I need to stop saying um without my like I said my apple cider vinegar and my extra my coconut oil so real happy about this so this is the coconut shea all natural pudding souffle and it says that it's it adds moisture to dry thirsty tresses using an exotic blend of all natural ingredients formulated to reduce frizz enhance textured styles and provide a soft shiny finish what I'm going to use this for is as my butter in a twisted style, a flat twisted style. Now, I've already opened this product and I noticed, A, love the smell again, um, kind of touched it. And the one thing I will say is that versus, I don't know if you can see it, it's really creamy compared to my homemade shea butter whip. And by that, I make my shea butter whip very um, dense it's very thick and it's tacky because I like the way it holds my hair together. Obviously, if you're 4C or tightly curled hair, you know that your curls are going to curl. So that means I get a frizz um, sooner than if I had a looser curl texture. Not that I really mind, but, you know, when you first do it, you do like to kind of keep it neat looking, especially as I'm still learning to do my hair. So that's my only concern with this product is that it's going to give up the ghost my hair is going to win the I'll escape out of this uh, battle. But other than that, I mean, I'm not really worried about, you know, the shine or whatever. I think that this will be fine, especially since, like I said, I use coconut oil. So we'll see. And with that, that's going to be my review for the most part of this product line this time. I won the products that I'm using. Q2 from Eden Body Works. Um, I entered a contest, shared my hair story. I won. So... Um, they didn't compensate me per se, but I did get the product at no cost to myself, so I want to be very upfront about that. Um, and other than that, uh, we'll see how it goes. So I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. I'm going to get in the shower and do all the rest of the stuff that needs to be done. And I won't be doing my hair again for another two weeks. So other than pictures on Instagram, maybe an update on Facebook or Google Plus, I you won't hear anything more about the product this round. Now I will say, um, in closing, that I wore a puff for a week. So that when I say that means that my hair, it really compacted and it really locked in on itself. Um, it, it's true. I would have taken a picture or shown it before, but you know, at some point, you do kind of not want to look crazy on camera. Came back fresh out of the shower. I did try um, using my wide tooth comb to detangle with the deep conditioner on. And what I found is that even though it did thin out very nicely, 
still didn't provide the slip that I need for the tightness of my hair. So I went ahead and did the rest of them the way that I normally do, which is just to rinse the product out. Um, I did use their leave-in conditioner. I'm not really sure if I feel like that's a must-have or a staple. The hair didn't feel different after using the leave-in, although I will say after the deep conditioner, it actually felt very um, strong, very alive. It wasn't too mushy. It wasn't stiff, and I did like that a lot. Um, I followed up their leave-in with coconut oil in the shower, which is what's on my hair now. So all you see is their leave-in and coconut oil, and as you can see, whenever there's... A lack of tension on my hair it automatically starts trying to um, not revert I don't like that word for my hair um just love its neighbor every hair tries to love its neighbor so I try to keep it stretched the entire time I'm working with it to some degree so that way I don't have to go over and over the same spots again with that being said I'm pretty sure that that's everything that I'm going to be oh their butter souffle and I'll have to wait until after the hair is done to actually tell you what I feel about that. Okay, so I have my African threading in. It's two sections in the front and then two on each side. In the back, this isn't any particular style or anything. It's going to be down in the morning and I'm going to actually do my hairstyle. Um, I did notice, like I thought it might be, that the their souffle is a little light for my liking but I'm not going to downgrade my enthusiasm until tomorrow when I'm actually, or if I need to tomorrow when I'm actually styling because it's hard to judge weight when my hair is wet since it does have a, a different dynamic when it's dry. So with that, it has been a long evening of hair and I'm tired so you guys have a great night. This is the style that I ended up going with and I call this faux big chop number one. I wanted a style that looked as if my hair was short while getting it up off my neck. Experiencing personal summers during the spring and summer here in Houston definitely has me looking for ways to stay cool. I will say that it was as I suspected with this product. My hair didn't um, adhere to itself in the normal way that it would if I had used my own shea butter product. However, I am not upset about the results the product did well for its weight I had to moisturize a little more often than I'm used to because of the weight of their souffle but other than that I, I have no complaints it's not necessarily a negative um, about the product it's more about the realities of having 4c hair and products readily available on the market I hope that this review was informative and that you enjoyed it Please feel free, and I hope that you will give this video a thumbs up, um, respond via comments, perhaps become a subscriber to my channel. I am determined to bring content to not just um, those who are looking for hair reviews and products and such like, but really um, exploring how returning to natural changed my point of view in life and how I'm hoping that those of a like mind and of like journey will join with me in this. I hope you have a groovy day, groovy night, and I'll talk to you soon.